We're all familiar with stories of the golem from Prague and Frankenstein, inanimate objects injected with life. These are examples of things becoming conscious, the quality or state of being aware, especially of something within oneself. Could we do the same to our cities? We're already busy making them more efficient and productive. We make them smarter by using technology to interact with services and organizations, channeling data from one point to another. There's an even greater amount of information being produced that expresses our day-to-day -day lives. We mark out routes, post photos, write about experiences, tweet our thoughts, and on the most part with the intention of being seen and heard. We're producing a constant stream of expression. What if a city became aware of this information and began to make sense of what's going on inside of itself? It could combine a huge amount of data with a growing body of knowledge of how we experience our built environment, one that is continuously being updated by the behavioral and brain sciences. Take, for example, a study revealing that some city streets cause increased cognitive load. This happens when the levels of stimuli in our surroundings are too high, overwhelming our brain systems. It has adverse effects such as depleting our attention capacity and is thought to weaken functions such as self-control. Imagine if the city became aware of the times when a problematic street is overloaded with stimuli and helped adapt it to our benefits. But it doesn't all need to be instant changes. There are semi-permanent improvements that a conscious city could make according to patterns of behavior. It could encourage playful learning for children outside of school or offer more opportunities for interaction in areas where the old suffer from loneliness. We already know that we can design spaces and environments that affect our mood and behavior, even if until recently our understanding was anecdotal. From monuments that inspire awe to department stores that disconnect us from time, We've began to use advances in psychology and neuroscience to improve environments like hospitals and schools. And this is possible at any scale. We have an opportunity to improve our well-being through architecture and urban design that better consider our needs. We should make sure that new knowledge is used right so that our cities become healthier, more inclusive and democratic. And we can do this by building conscious cities.